Hello guys and welcome back to another video and in this video I will show you my supplies, my sleeves, everything I use to keep my binder safe, my card safe and also my albums. So yeah, I came to this idea, of course many many people have done this video before me, but when uh, one of my friends asked me what uh, sleeves and what brands I use and I explained everything to her because I have accumulated a lot of things <laughs> over the years of collecting. I thought, why not make a video? Because maybe it's interesting to you guys. Maybe this helps you. Maybe this gives you a little inspiration. I don't know. So yeah, before I start explaining everything, I will link everything down below if I can find it. Hopefully, if not, I will just write the name out. So if you are interested in looking what I use or if you maybe want to purchase it, look down there. Of course, if you have any questions, I feel free to ask me on Instagram. Link is in the description as well or here in the comment sections. And maybe we can help each other in the comment sections about any question you have. And before I talk about everything, I have to set a little disclaimer. I live in Germany, so I can just talk about the things that are available to me here in my country. Maybe in your country have different things or you have a different way but for me this is what I use, this is what worked for me because some things are available for example in America but it's very very expensive for me to ship it here so I try to find a solution that I can easily uh, get to in my country so yeah that's just a little disclaimer because sometimes people forget that I don't live anywhere <laughs> just in Germany so yeah the first thing I want to show you is the binder of course I just have my got seven binder here for example I have three of the same they are all the same binder I buy them at Staples and they are just the normal staple brand very inexpensive I would say so you have the clear file here so you can put them with things here and then you have some clear file here so you can put things there and I personally um, use binders with four rings. I find it when I use two rings that I can't deal with it because it's so crappy. So I would suggest, I can't speak today, I would recommend you guys when you look for a binder, it, it doesn't matter which brand you use, whatever brand you want to use or if it's small, if it's big, please use at least three rings if not four rings because the problem is when you have only two rings, it's only secured here and when you have a heavy page it will always slide off in this direction. When I started collecting, I had my Star Collection card binder from Got7. I think they had three rings, but it was very small. And then I needed a second binder, so I just took a binder, a normal school binder that has two rings. But just after a day, I was so fed up because I put my cards in and they would slide around every time. And when I put my card in my binder, I want, to do, I want them to be safe, protected, because I am collecting, this is a valu valuable object for me. And yeah, so this is my first like tip or recommendation for you guys. Please look for three, if not four rings. The style of the rings doesn't really matter. You have like the round rings, you have the D rings. Just try out with what's perfectly fits for you. Honestly, I have no idea what these rings are, but they are not D rings. So <laughs> yeah, you just have to figure out what you want and how you want it to have to bind it to be. So yeah, I use my um, staple ones. They work perfectly. I have grown, I just first bought one and then I bought the second one and now I'm on the third one. And you can buy them at various sizes, small, big. I have one of the bigger ones because I have a lot of cards. But if you don't have that much cards as I have, you can just buy the smaller size because not everybody has the space for such big Binders. So this is the first one and I will just go with this one. So I have these one sleeves I use for big photo cards or for my pages that um, are dividing anything and I was looking for something that wouldn't crease, that was crystal clear because sometimes you have those pages that are a little bit grindy and it's I don't want it so for my binder I'm very perfect in this stick I want to be as pretty as I possibly can make it and what I found were these ones so these are the lights Qualitäts Protect higher level quality pockets so in German it's Qualitäts Prospect oh god and they are glass clear or crystal clear 
glass clear and they are on the expensive side this is just what I use you can use whatever you want to you feel comfortable with but I have found that they were perfectly for me I have no idea what they cost at the moment because at the time where they were on sale and bought three packs I still have two packs left so they just look like this just one simple page but they stick perfectly together as you maybe see in my bind updates I have used them a lot for big cards and I'm really really happy with how they work so this is what I use for the big big cards and when you <laughs> to the most essential sleeve you will ever use in a binder the nine pocket sleeve this is like the most basic the most essential essential everything you use it's something you mostly start with and when I first started I, I used ultra pro so here we have maybe I will just Put that away because it distracts you guys so i have the nine sleeve this is just ultra pro this is the ultra pro silver and after a while while i was updating my binder i switched to platinum so this is the silver is more is cheaper than platinum and i basically just buy a box of a hundred and all honestly at first thought i was a little bit much but I always use it up, so yeah. You can find these packages everywhere. The same goes for silver. You can find every series in there. And some eBay sellers just sell like 15 pages. If you just need 15 pages, then just buy 15 pages. And the reason why I switched from silver to platinum is that platinum has thicker material. So silver is totally fine. It works when you start out. It, it protects your cards. It does the job. But it's very thin material in relation to the Platinum series. I don't know if you can really see it, but you can see that this is more reflective than this. So you can see that they use better material here than they did in the Silver series. And I think when you choose something like this, it's just a price point. Of course, Platinum is more expensive. It may have thicker material, but Silver honestly does the job as well. It's just thinner material and I just choose to upgrade it because I like platinum more but when you just start out you don't have that much money just buy silver honestly and maybe in the future you can upgrade so I have had silver for the longest time ever I just upgraded last year so yeah these are the two things I use for the nine pockets of course there are so many other brands out there who do the nine pockets just choose what you are comfortable if you are comfortable with so yeah and what do we go next with i have so many sleeves here and after the nine pocket sleeves the most other sleeves that you use are the four pocket and the two pocket and ultra pro also does provide these sleeves but what i found was that the four pocket and the two pocket ultra pro sleeves is smaller than this one. I don't have it for comparison right now, so I can't show you guys, but I use my Veloflex. So this is a German brand, and I just found it by accident, honestly. And maybe I have, oh, well, maybe I have the two brands. Sorry, I have them here. <laughs> so I only have the two pocket sleeve, but it's not from Ultra Pro, it's from BCV. That's also a brand a lot of YouTuber use. So when you put it side by side, you can see it's, just a, it's a lot of difference so this whole part is more so the most problem I see youtubers having with their cards is that they don't fit in there it's just sometimes it's only like a very very small millimeter that's only like that's left but they can't fit it in there and honestly I don't have the problems with my old fix they fit every card because they are so spacious and yeah i don't know the exact measurement maybe you just look it up and compare but i am very satisfied in the material as well is a really really great i find so you can fit it in every binder so yeah these VeloFlex also makes nine pockets but i never use them so i can't really say my opinion on that but i use the two in the four pockets and i'm like so satisfied with that and i just buy them on ebay mainly like 15 pack not a whole pack because I don't need that many from the four and two pockets. And 
also something I use that I have discovered by accident is this pocket. I hope you can see it. So they have small pockets here. Maybe when you watch my binder update, you know that I use those for my for my Japanese press cards because they are um, not that way, but that way I can't know. <laughs> they are uh, vertical. Vertical? Is this the right word? I don't know. So these are normal like business cards pages. They are thought for business cards. So you just type in business cards on eBay, Amazon, whatever, and just find the one that fits for you. So I just found them because I was searching for one that would fit my cards and I'm so happy with it because I also use it for my bookmarks, for my big uh, three sticker from GOT7 and yeah, I can't rave enough about it because I was so happy when I found it. And the last, not the last thing, but also one of the last things I use in my binder is this CD page. So. That's not necessarily something you maybe need, but when you when you um, collect CD plates, uh, it's helpful to have those. This is also from a from the brand Veloflex, and I have searched long for this because most of the CD pages are just like two CDs here. But I would like have to have a full page to just have the continuity of page after page that fit perfectly over each other. And I found this. So many people have asked me in my videos all the time, where do you get this and this? So this is from the brand Veloflex. I think I bought them used, but they were barely used. So yeah, I'm really happy. And I, I'm not collecting CD plates at the moment, so I don't need that many from that. And then some other pages that I have used in my three ring binder, but that are not really fitting in my four ring binder or barely fitting. So these are all, not all from a brand. So this one, <laughs> just start with this. So this one is from Ultra Pro as well. Is this the, this is also the Platinum series. And that's, that's concept, this is for a three ring binder. So if I use it in a four ring, I can just use these, these two and this one has to be empty. But yeah, I use this for my bookmarks for my flying soul from the DVD bookmark, but I'm not using it a ton. And they are just such pockets that you can put upwards. And I bought these not knowing that they were for a three ring binder and then I had the dilemma. So yeah, but I will use them nonetheless because I haven't really searched for one who is for a four ring binder. That's also something you have to be careful of. When you buy sleeves, pages, whatever, you have to see and look if it's fit for your binder because otherwise you have spent money and the pages are not really fit for your binder and that's annoying. So yeah. And then three other pages that I don't really use anymore or barely at all. And these I bought when I had my three ring binder and I was like looking at all the like American YouTubers, Canadian YouTubers who, what pages they were using because at that time I couldn't find any like German based YouTuber who has a binder who is collecting K-pop and had shared his or hers pages that I could buy so I bought these. So these are from the brand, brand BCW so we have a three uh, pocket thing so two here one there and then we also have like the three ones. This one I still use I think for tickets but for the BTS ticket, I think, for their school love affair ticket. For my um, flight lock departure ticket from GOT7, they are too small. I have to use my lights, big ones. And then I also, I just showed you that earlier, I have the two pocket pages, but honestly, it's too small. I can't use it, that's why I use my Veloflex, and I'm so happy with it. So that's something I learned. I have bought so many pages that in the end I thought, why did I buy it? Because it doesn't really fit. Uh, in my binder and it's too small and yeah, it's a learning progress honestly. You spend so much money in the progress. Progress, I don't know. So yeah, and now we have talked about all the sleeves, sleeves you can get. Oh, my English is today really bad, I apologize. But <laughs> So 
you don't need all these fancy sleeves. I honestly, you just buy them after necessity when you get a big card. When you get this card, you search for a sleeve and then you buy it, and that's all. Normally, you only need the nine pocket sleeves, but uh, these days people are like to do like crazy photo cards, and it's like honestly, yeah. What I like to do to uh, have my cards not fly all over the place and to be extra safe, I have to have inside pockets. So I keep them in here in my whole bag and I use these ones. These are also from Ultra Pro. I threw away the auto packaging so I don't know how they're called. So look please in my description box to see where. These ones I have searched so much. And if you see how I updated my binder two years ago, I had the ones who were um, sliding in at the top, but honestly they were so annoying and after a long search I found the one who were sliding in at the side. And the benefit of having them slide in the side is that your card can't fall out at the top or the bottom because it's honestly really hard getting your card in your sleeve when you have a in, in sleeve, how do you call it, inner sleeve that is open at the bottom or the top. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend using the sleeves who load at the side. They are side load um, inner sleeves. So really, really recommend them. I am so in love with them. And normally I buy a pack of 100 and they last me for a while, but honestly we've got seven. <laughs> Having so many cards, I need to buy a new pack. And I have the thinner version, there's also a thicker version, but honestly just what buys what your suits your preference, if you want the thinner one or bigger one. I personally buy the thinner ones because sometimes cards are too big and then they don't fit in the sleeves if you have too big of an inner sleeve. So yeah, that's everything, just buy them and try them all honestly. And we come now to my last item, it's not directly um, belongs to my binder, but this is the brand I use to package up my signed albums. So I will just show you an example of a signed album that I packaged up. So normally they look like this, so this is my day six signed album. I package them up to like don't have them damaged or the sign smudged or anything. And I watched Katie's video and she was using I think Ultra Pro, but for the God of, for the love of God, I couldn't find them anywhere. And if I found them, they were so expensive to ship them from the United States to me. I wasn't overboard that life. So I searched and searched and I needed a specific size because I have big albums that I signed, I have small albums that I signed, and I just want to use one one bag that fits everything. So this size fits perfectly the day six remember us cd i just show you it fits perfectly it has a perfect size and this is the biggest album you can get at least of course there are some bigger ones but then you can't package them at all and i use the ultimate guard comic book resealable magazine size because this is specific for um Comic collectors who have like really rare comic books and they want to uh, like keep them safe. And this is 100 units <laughs> that will last me a long time. But I was so happy when I found this because this will help maybe my German viewers because you can easily buy this off Amazon. It comes in different sizes. And I think I bought the biggest size because you have to be careful what size you buy. They are, I think, just comic book size, but comic book is smaller than this, so always look for magazine size, because that's the biggest one you can buy, and you don't have to buy that brand, you can just buy whatever brand. If you live in America, you could just do get the Ultra Pro one, but I wasn't able to do that, that's why I have these, and I'm really happy with those, and I was so, so happy and proud of myself when I found them and bought them, and they fit, and they feel really nice and honestly i have them on for a few months i think one or two months and they're so great so they're crystal clear glass clear you can see through them they are not milky or anything and they are easy to handle so yeah 
And that's the end of the video. I don't have anything more to tell you guys. And I think that's enough of a uh, load that I gave you of bags after bags and sleeve after sleeve. But honestly, with the K-pop industry always finding like new weird shapes of cards that they can put out, <laughs> you need to be creative. And I hope maybe you learned something from this. Maybe you got some inspiration. If you have any questions, always feel free to ask me. Every information will be linked down below and yeah, I'm hoping that helps you guys. <laughs> and yeah, if you enjoy my content, please subscribe down below, ring the bell icon so you know when I upload a video. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, that's also linked down below. And I am tired of talking, so I will say bye for now and I hope I see you in my next video. Bye!